everyone, and welcome back to Frequency Writer, Color the Magic, and Whole Soul Mastery. I'm Marie Moeller, and I'm an author and a messenger of living an inspired and empowered life in these ascension times. And as we expand our inner vision, as we let our inner vision inside us, our God vision, right, our higher dimensional vision, we see a much bigger picture. And that is what continues to unfold and emerge in the awareness of people all around this amazing planet. And we are all called to awaken to the truth in the illusion, right? And to step up to become the builders of this new earth experience, which is more of the divine creation coming to life, which is eradicating the old 3D matrix and its illusions out of our lives. So without further ado, let's take a look at that big picture of you for September and the remaining months in 2024. And as we round that corner into 2025, where there's a whole lot more quantum change awaiting us, and we are the participants in that. We are the authors of those experiences. So the more awake we can be, the more aware we are of the quantum breadcrumbs coming our way that are aspects of you coming home that want to integrate inside you as wholeness right? As an empowered soul on planet earth, as a gifted soul and a talented soul on planet earth. There are so many amazing miracles in store for all of us. If we will start to flip the script on the 3d matrix and usher in the truth of divine creation. So let's take a look at that big picture of you. And I thank you for joining me today. Okay. So here we are. In September 2024, we are going to be focusing on stage five of the hero's journey. It's so relevant to our life experiences. It's such a universal language that speaks to the energies in our souls, I think, because it has been a common language throughout time as we have known it. And we're going to be talking about stage five, which is called crossing the threshold. Whatever crossing the threshold meant in Joseph Campbell's day at the height of his messages and throughout the centuries that are in our past, right? What about our multidimensionality and what, it, what is it like to cross the threshold as a multidimensional being? How many thresholds are we crossing in other timelines? It's a real interesting question. How many timelines are we crossing in other realms? Maybe I should ask it that way. It is a very interesting question. And I recently watched the movie Interstellar. And so it, it, you know, brings up a lot of that awareness of us through time interdimensionally, right? And I don't know if everybody watching this video that I'm making right now has seen the movie Interstellar, but it's quite fascinating when you realize that there are these thresholds that we must cross and he crosses them in his journey in the movie Interstellar. And he enters into this interdimensional space where he can actually access the information that was sought and he can get it back to his daughter back on earth in a quite a, quite a fantastical way. But we are here as these quantum avatars crossing thresholds in our own personal lives here on planet earth. But also I would invite you to consider that we're crossing multidimensional thresholds in our own consciousnesses, which opens us up to leave this prison planet and move beyond the confines of linear time and see ourselves from this more expansive lens. So we're going to be talking about crossing the threshold. We're going to be talking about powerful pivots that go hand in hand with crossing thresholds. We're going to talk about quantum changes, quantum living, releasing lifetimes of attachments, right? Patterns of attachments. You might've released this attachment or that attachment already this lifetime. If you've been on a spiritual journey or a hero's journey already, you may have already released quite a bit of attachments, but wait, there's more. There's often more attachments than we necessarily would be consciously aware of, but they're showing up when we're uncomfortable, when we're stressed, when we feel overwhelmed, they're gonna show up in a variety of forms, but it's still the same theme. If we have attachments to the old illusions in this matrix, in the status quo of what has been on this planet for a very, very long time, we have to be willing to go beyond those attachments to see a new experience for ourselves and for this planet and for life in all of creation. So as I speak to that, we're also seeding big dreams. The more we release our lifetimes of attachments, 
the more we release this lifetime of attachments, we make space and we make room for bigger picture vision, right? For a more expansive soul vision. And through that higher perception and through that higher awareness, we may actually create space inside ourselves to seed big dreams. And when all of that is taking place and more expansion is unfolding inside us, we can thrive in more of who we really are. And that is ultimately one of the greatest destinations of the ascension journey is to become more of an infinite expansion of who we really are. So with that said, let's take a look at the big picture of you. I want to focus on this, that there's this sense of quantum accelerations of powerful shifts and change. We've talked about quantum accelerations in the sense of time speeding up. We've also talked a lot about powerful shifts and change on the planet and in our own personal lives in many videos here. But when we connect those two things and bridge those concepts that there's a quantum acceleration of the shifts, there's a quantum acceleration of change that might explain what many of us are experiencing right now. So if we're feeling things moving at warp speed, <laughs> it might actually be the case. So the question is, how are you navigating the changes that you're experiencing? How are you personally navigating those changes, those shifts that call to integrate so much of what's coming alive in your conscious awareness? Things that maybe you weren't aware of two months ago, two weeks ago, two days ago, or maybe even just two hours ago. That's what's happening in the quantum acceleration of time, which is also accelerating our own experience of powerful shifts and change. That's happening on a personal level, of course, but it's also happening on a collective level. So it's like an exponential change as the personal or the individual shifts take place. And that's happening across the entire collective. So it's amplifying the experience of shifts and change as we all go through this. And yet it doesn't show up exactly the same. What my neighbor or my family member or my colleague at work might be experiencing might look different. And we might think that the process is happening differently just because their karmic attachments or karmic debris in their soul journey is different from yours. What's flushing to the surface may look different but the catalyst, the impetus, right? This nudge from within is happening inside all of us. It's just expressing differently. So when I ask that question, how are you navigating the changes you're experiencing? What you're experiencing, what I'm experiencing might look different, but the catalysts and those infusions of light, like this image on the screen, that light is pouring into Earth's atmosphere in increasing amounts, right? And so Anything that is not of the light, anything that is of illusion, anything that is of this 3D matrix that was never true in the first place is getting flushed up to the surface so we could take a good look at it, whatever those belief systems are, whatever those attachments are. And then also the exciting part, what those talents and gifts and abilities are. It's all coming back to us for what that whole iceberg living. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more today. So I've mentioned today, we're gonna to talk about stage five of the hero's journey, crossing the threshold. Humanity is crossing some powerful thresholds as we talked about exponentially, right? And so too are we personally. Remember how we talked about witnessing the darkness and empowering the light? We can apply this to the energies today where we may be or are called to witness the old falling away personally and collectively. And we are also called, or we may still be called to empower the new quantum shifts and this rise in consciousness. The old systems are failing. The US dollar as we have known it is reaching its expiration date. Banks are struggling. Source has flipped the tables on the money handlers. There is no more time for the old systems. New asset-backed currencies are rising. New systems and ecosystems are emerging. New systems of governance. New systems for leadership on this planet. A whole new paradigm of consciousness is rolling in on the backs of these light codes that are permeating our atmosphere at quantum levels that it's just, it's not even something that I can describe or put into words. Maybe somebody who's like a quantum physicist could, but I think we're all talking about the in the language of being an awakened, aware, alive soul who's participating consciously in this ascension process, we can accent and infuse with light the emerging new systems 
that are leading us into the truth of divine creation and out of this mess of the illusion of the 3D matrix. It's a whole lot easier to leave the illusion behind when you know what's failing is the illusion. And then the more you do the inner work to let the illusions fall away, whatever those illusions might be, the more we make room for the greatness to emerge in our lives and in our daily experiences. It's all happening. It's all happening. In my view, we aren't here to save any of the 3D matrix systems. Anything that is founded in some false foundation of the serpent's matrix, right? That, that illusionary matrix, right? That controlling cabal system of illusions and propaganda and all that corruption. We're not trying to save that. We are here to evolve and to ascend beyond those systems. So as we witness what is failing, we are called to empower what desires to emerge from the higher dimensions of consciousness in creation to be our now experience so that all time is one time. That higher dimensional experience becomes now. That's where it gets exciting, right? So we are crossing a threshold in consciousness in these times, today, tomorrow, and every day now going forward. We are crossing a threshold in consciousness, and that crossing of thresholds is creating a tremendous amount of change at an accelerated rate. So a person's frequency determines how much they see of those changes, of that crossing of thresholds, right? So here's the question. What do you see? What are you seeing about some of these things? Are you feeling accelerations? Are you feeling shifts and changes? Are you, are you noticing things crumbling and failing? Are you witnessing the darkness of that? Are you also finding stillness, time in nature, time with your soul self, time in stillness, right? Where you are empowering the light within you that is here to guide you. You came in this world with everything you need, the power of conscious breathing and the power to tap into the divine soul essence that you are that's connected directly with source. You have the power to be a builder in this time of epic shifts, to be anchoring in the higher consciousness and to be consciously releasing the illusions simultaneously. So also for our can we talk portion of the conversation today, it's always focused somehow on whole iceberg living, right? And for those of you maybe seeing this video for the first time or hearing me as a messenger of these kinds of messages, you know, a lot of people know about the tip of the iceberg and they like to live maybe in the tippy top of the very tip of the iceberg, which means they're not living perhaps as consciously as they could if they were connected with the whole iceberg of themselves and the whole iceberg of this planet and the whole iceberg of creation, right? There's multidimensional icebergs. But just for the sake of this little example, some people have just been living from the very tippy top of what they want to know about this illusionary reality we call the 3D matrix. So with this concept of whole iceberg living, there's a whole bigger mass of the iceberg that's just below the surface of the water that few people go deep sea diving to take a look into within themselves, right? They do a lot of things to shove energies or awareness or unpleasant memories or whatever you might call that under that proverbial rug, right? But whole iceberg living, there is no rug. Everything is transparent. Everything is more naked and is what it is, which means we want to refine our frequencies. We want to empower the light coming forth to be what leads our lives, that inner vision, that inner seed of light, the divine seed leading you into whole iceberg living. So the question is, if we're talking about this whole iceberg living, and some people are just living for the very tippy top, we are talking about getting more comfortable with things that are surfacing in our consciousness, things that are uncomfortable, things that are stressful, things that we haven't wanted to look at, things that we've tried to avoid. We're all going through that in the human experience in these times of change, but that's what the inner work is. So the question in whole iceberg living is what is rising for you to review and to release, right? What is rising for you right now in this week, today, tomorrow, in your current consciousness, what seems to be rising as a theme or pattern or experience that you keep having or something that's nudging you in some way, shape or form, that there's something that wants to come into your conscious awareness. It may be unpleasant or uncomfortable, but if it's those kinds of emotions are rising, it's something that you need to see in order to release it. It's not going to release until you glean what its message is or what its lesson is, what you might need to heal. That's the inner work. 
Then another question is what is rising for you to remember and to embrace it, right? That whole iceberg living. What if all time is becoming one now timeline? That's a big question. What if all time is becoming one now timeline? And who would you be if you could access the allness of your divine mastery? Who would you be right now if all timelines were becoming one time and you could access the allness of your whole soul mastery, right? If you could color the magic back into your life through frequency awareness, right? Through conscious choices and all the things that we've talked about for many years here in these videos and access the allness of your whole soul mastery, right? The truth of your divine spark in your life right now, who would you be? How would you show up? How would you experience this whole iceberg living in your life right now, right? The icebergs within us and around us are speaking. They are speaking. They're only getting louder, right? They actually get softer and calmer. You calm those crazy waters of the icebergs that are melting because so much needs to surface, right? That might be the global warming of the icebergs melting in us of all the records frozen in time that we've ever been and all the unresolved emotions and energies that go with it. This is part of calling in the allness of our divine mastery. This is part of calling in the allness of who you are as a creative divine spark. You have everything that you need to neutralize anything unpleasant in those records that are melting in your own personal iceberg, right? And then you also have all the skills to neutralize and to come to a place of sacred neutrality inside you about the collective's whole iceberg that is also melting. Everything that is melting is going to expose the truth of the illusion so we can move forward in accelerating these changes in healing this planet and rising into what we always were, which is higher dimensional beings. We are not these 3D beings that got trapped in a prison planet that believes ourselves to be separated from source. That had to be a massive, massive illusion. And when you no longer participate in it, it means that you're also gearing up to receive and accept and filter through a great amount of truth and in that truth is, yes, the rubble of the 3D illusion and all the corruption in it, but it is also your whole soul mastery. So that's why simultaneously it calls for a constitutional strength inside us to meet the changes where they are showing up in our lives so we can transcend the unpleasantness and we can embrace the greatness, right? The icebergs within us and around us are speaking. The craziness of truth surfacing is unfolding and the miracles of truth surfacing are emerging simultaneously. So remember, as all of that is playing out, we need to be compassionate towards ourselves and others, and we need to be soul nourishing before, during, and after more iceberg material and content surfaces for you personally and in the world. It takes a lot of faith and fortitude to be here and to have your soul vision on and to see through higher dimensional lenses and without the buffers of rugs and avoidance and all the other things, defense mechanisms, when we just allow truth to stand for what it is and then we know how to breathe ourselves into that cradle of grace, into sacred neutrality, and we do the inner work to get ourselves into sacred neutrality so we can ultimately get ourselves to that third breath to quantumly co-create with source. That's the sweet spot of these ascension times. It takes a lot of inner work for us to continue to put ourselves in that sacred neutrality from a place of being triggered to the place of sacred neutrality in our heart centers to that place of quantumly creating something new in this new quantum experience that our consciousness is expanding into as we live lives as avatars connected with our whole soul mastery. I believe we came into this world with an incredible capacity for both faith and fortitude. Let's tap into that inner divine capacity in this call, in these messages today, and then also in your own personal daily life as you go forward in whatever experiences that you're navigating and it, you know, growing through right now so that you can rise to be the true living light that you came to be in these times. We are builders, we are artists, we are teachers, we are leaders of these times. And so let's take a deeper dive into some of these messages from Joseph Campbell. I've got some quotes and some slides here. We're gonna review Crossing the Threshold and then I've got some soul songs for anybody who wants to stick around for that as well. 
okay, this is a beautiful image that's inviting you to just drink in this awareness for yourself in whatever way this applies to you. The familiar life horizon has been outgrown. The old concepts, ideals, and emotional patterns no longer fit. The time for the passing of a threshold is at hand. That is a quote from Joseph Campbell. You know, the hero's journey is all about leaving the familiar. To accept the call to adventure, we are leaving what is familiar. We are leaving what is known. And when you really start to go on this journey and you consciously make the choice to accept that call to adventure, we've talked about some of the earlier stages, but you really are choosing to leave the familiar behind. You are you really are choosing to step into the unknown. That's part of the adventure. And the more you commit to that decision, which is what the crossing the threshold phase is, stage is, you really start to recognize that a lot of the patterns that were so familiar, old concepts, attachments, belief systems, whatever they are, they're too small for you. That's been the truth of my experience, that whatever those patterns, vibrational patterns, attachment patterns, belief systems that I had, as I was first learning about calls to adventure and this whole journey of ascension and expanding my spirituality, my connection with source, all of those things, I would have thought that that's all the life is because that's what happens before you accept the first call to adventure in a more conscious way. But once you start to do that, you start to realize, wow, I might have grown up with that belief, but I don't know that I believe that. I may have grown up around that concept or that system or that pattern or whatever it is, but I don't know that I want to participate in that anymore. Things start to not fit. It's like you outgrow your favorite outfits, your more familiar outfits. You've outgrown them. And the time for this new threshold is at hand. It's a time to commit to change. That's what's going on here. It's a time to commit to the changes instead of committing to gripping and holding tighter to what's familiar, even if you know it's not for you. A lot of people are going through this process right now, even if they're not talking about it, at some level in the human soul, something like this, some conversation like this is taking place. We've outgrown the 3D matrix. We have, tr we are transcending that old illusion and matrix of quote unquote reality because it was never reality in the first place. And so many people may not exactly understand how completely it is an illusion, but they may be noticing that things are crumbling and they may just not have the concept that something new is emerging or maybe something that was the original divine creation is coming through. However, people experience that as either new or the original version of creation is finding us. We're returning to the Garden of Eden, expanded, grown, right? Evolved and willing to grow even more, right? That's what this time is. It's a series of calls to adventure. It is a series of hero's journey and the ascension journey right now. Very, very powerful, beautiful image on the screen, that call to cross the threshold into a whole new experience, kind of going through the tunnel of what has been dark on the side of creation we've been in, in the prison planet of the 3D matrix. But look at that expanse and beyond with that sunlight beckoning all of us in this call to a grand ascension experience. Okay, and this next quote, I think is the only other quote I have for the crossing the threshold, but here it is from Joseph Campbell. To cross the threshold is to commit wholly to going beyond everyday leadership and an ordinary life. Look at this traveler. This is us, right? And that might also be as it kind of looks like maybe there's storm clouds or maybe they're just powerful energies permeating the atmosphere, inviting people to go the distance, to cross the threshold, to commit to the journey, to go beyond just saying, yes, I received the invitation. Crossing the threshold is saying, oh, I received the invitation and I'm coming. Like I'm hundred percent there. So it is a powerful time. And this is a powerful message for this final quarter of 2024, where a whole lot more change is being ushered in swiftly, quantumly, atmospherically, financially, governmentally, medically, and every system in every direction of people's beliefs and all the things we've been conditioned into on this prison planet. We can cross the threshold of no longer being believers in the 3D matrix. We can cross that threshold and absolutely commit to moving forward with seeking truth, seeking source, seeking the truth of your true divine nature. That to me is that energy of that picture. Yes, there's mountainous regions to explore. There's a whole world out there that's awaiting your 
discovery, right, in you. The discovery starts in here through inner work, but it also may translate into new experiences, new calls to adventure where maybe you geographically move. Maybe you start up a whole new experience of discovering talents that have just been latent in you this whole time, but who you've always been and what you've always had. It is such an exciting time to be alive. And to cross that threshold is to commit wholly to going beyond everyday leadership and an ordinary life. We're going to the next level. If you're already a leader, prepare to go to another level of leadership. If you're already an artist, prepare to go to another level of artistry. If you're already a speaker or a teacher, prepare to evolve as a teacher, to share bigger, broader perspectives and messages with the world because everything in creation is moving quantumly forward with quite a powerful momentum with the support of source and the greater divine design. I may have mentioned that I watched this movie Interstellar again recently. I hadn't seen it in years, but it's interesting because I think in the movie, there's this message that love is the threshold of another universe. And in that story, if you've seen Interstellar, I won't talk about the movie too much, but it is the one of the main character. He's out in space, seemingly lost in space, but He's actually out in space looking for answers and what ultimately was the connection across dimensions. It was love. It was love. It transcended time and space dimensions. And so this was a really interesting quote when I was looking for quotes on crossing thresholds. This quote showed up. I don't think I can fully pronounce the whole name of this person, but it's by Pierre Chardin. And the quote is, the truth is indeed that love is the threshold of another universe. What if that capacity for love is what is evolving our consciousness? And some of us are hearing the frequency of that kind of multidimensional love, that divinely seated love from our source creator that is in the fabric of creation, which means it's within the fabric of you. It's in your soul essence. It's in your DNA. That love inside us, the truth is indeed that love is the threshold of another universe. To me, that just captures metaphysically or quantum physically a bigger picture perspective of a threshold, right? That love transcends worlds. Love transcends thresholds of limitations. I think as a collective, we're bursting through with this love frequency. It's filling our DNA. It's filling the atmosphere. And it's going to dematerialize any structures that create the real life perception that we are separated from source. Love is the great unifier. It's a frequency and it's leading us into this threshold of connecting with another universe. But I would say just with ourselves multidimensionally, that's the first step is to connect with us, connect with us inside ourselves, our own multidimensionality. And then as we're awakening to these thresholds and these limitations that have been set for us by the 3D matrix that oftentimes we believed and ingested and then carried through time, through our lifetimes and the codes that we've been programmed with through this karmic entanglement. What about our gifts and talents, right? That's part of our divine mastery. That's part of our whole soul mastery that wants to emerge. This is another quote. We're back to Joseph Campbell again. No one in the world was ever you before with your particular gifts and abilities and possibilities. I love that energy. We just talked about love as a threshold of accessing other dimensions, basically, right? Other universes. What happens when we get to this place where we truly love and appreciate ourselves? When we truly every day just give ourselves like a Christed consciousness hug, where we know that we have these multidimensional gifts, these exceptional gifts from our divine sparks, right? That are deep within us, but they're there inside our DNA. And then we remember this, that no one in the world was ever you before. You're the only one with unique sparks and unique talents, gifts and possibilities and abilities that you have. So powerful, that message coming from Joseph Campbell. I have three more messages from Joseph Campbell for this particular video. And this one, again, I, I actually went off grid a little bit because these are not all about crossing the threshold, but they are related to crossing thresholds because there are awarenesses that want to awaken with inside us. This was a long quote, but worth reading. You must have a room or a certain hour or so a day where you don't know what was in the newspapers that morning. You don't know who your friends are. You don't know what you owe anybody. You don't know what anybody owes to you. 
This is a place where you can simply experience and bring forth what you are and what you might be. This is the place of creative incubation. At first, you may find that nothing happens there. But if you have a sacred place and use it, something eventually will happen. I love that because he's talking about that place of creative incubation. He's talking about that place of stillness. He's talking about that place that many people find in nature or when they're with their animals, when there's a certain stillness and all the busyness and hecticness of the 3D matrix's world settles down. We can access these deep reservoirs of divine life force inside us that connects us directly to source. We can almost peer into other universes when we get into that beautiful divine space. This is a good quote to come back to and read at some point. Maybe I will start to share some of these quotes in some posts on frequencywriter.substack.com. I mean, I, I didn't want to send out more than my every two week post because I know how that can just hit your inbox and we can get inundated. All of us can get inundated. What I would say is I, I would invite you to come to frequencywriter.substack.com and spend some time there because I'm not going to be sending out every single message that I post there because I want to be respectful of your inbox and your time and your capacity to handle all of the information that we're all getting. But if you want to see more inspiration, I, I will start to post these quotes in some frequency writer posts that'll just be on my account there. And there you can have a look at some of these a little deeper. So that's a very, very powerful quote and a very, very powerful image. Make the time for you. Make the time to connect with your soul mastery. I love this image and I love this quote from Joseph Campbell. Again, talking about that greater expansive mastery inside you. Art is the set of wings to carry you out of your own entanglement. That's how I get into my creative incubation phase. When I'm creating, I'm a creator, I'm a generator. I'm somebody who has like a lot of ideas all the time. I may make other people around me a little crazy because I've got ideas scribbled everywhere. I'm a little bit of that messy artist archetype, but art is my set of wings that carries me out of my own entanglement. And the channel people listen to on YouTube, my YouTube account is Color the Magic. That was the message that my inner guidance gave to me when I was in the heat of my greatest fire this lifetime. When I saw no how and no way out of that mess and all of that entanglement in the 3D matrix that thought it had me cornered. I was believing that I was cornered. I was believing that there was no way out of the suffering I was in. The message was color the magic. What a powerful message then. What a powerful message for you now. What a powerful message for humanity. What if it's coloring the magic through art and creative incubation is the set of wings out of our own entanglements, right? What if that's one of the ways that we're going to cross the threshold is we access the creator inside us? Really powerful. And this last quote from Joseph Campbell in these series of quotes today is, if you are too advanced, all fixed ideas must go powerful. Look again at that hiker, that traveler. That's us. That can be symbolic. That can actually be you if you're a hiker like that. But for me, I see the great expanse of all that's out there to be explored within and without us, right? But if we're to advance, if we're to evolve, if we're to ascend, the fixed ideas, the attachments we have to the ordinary world, the attachments we have to what is known, the attachments we have to the systems we count on to provide the structure and stability of our lives, the systems we think keep us safe. They keep us in a prison planet. And we have to be willing at this juncture of this ascension journey, in my opinion, is to look beyond. We have to release the fixed ideas and the fixed attachments that keep us in the prison planet, which means we have to access that love frequency. We have to access that higher dimensional commitment to cross the threshold, to go where we haven't journeyed before, but we are willing. We are willing to go into the depth of our soul mastery inside us, in the DNA inside us, the encoded God codes inside us that know everything we need to know. We packed for these times. We just packed inside our DNA. We packed inside our consciousness. They were gonna be the intangibles that could travel through space and time and into the little baby that you became when you were born and you arrived on this day. Dr. Terry Cole Whitaker, was talking with me recently, and she may have said in some podcasts, but she doesn't talk about birth 
days. She calls them appearance days because we are souls that are infinite and eternal and we just appear in this timeline. So when you appeared in this timeline as your infant form, you brought everything you needed inside you with the codes of light inside you. You, you packed light, but you packed wisely. You packed divinely. You look like you're not carrying anything into this lifetime with you, but you have everything that you need. It's your conscious breathing. It's your access to source. It's your belief in the inner light inside you. And that transcends time and space and the love frequency. Authenticity. These are higher dimensional frequencies and you've got them and I've got them. And they're helping us to advance. They're helping us to ascend. They're helping us to evolve. And they're helping us to let go of the fixed ideas that must go. Okay, so I have about four to five slides talking about crossing the threshold with you today to borrow from Joseph Campbell's work and maybe to add some multi-dimensional verve to some of those insights. I put back up on the screen something we've reviewed before, talking about change as an acronym. And I'm not going to go into all of those things, but you can review some of these slides later. So the letter C in change can stand for compassion, H for healing, A for awareness, N for nurture, G for growth and E for empowerment. Those are all intangible assets and blueprints for these times to, for your quantum ascension, for your time of epic changes as you're going through this on an individual level, right? We want to be walking with the awareness of some of these frequencies inside us. It'll help us move through the change a little better, a little stronger uh, with a greater sense of fortitude and faith, right? Very, very powerful. Okay, and then I've, I often reference in these videos just a little bit of a foundational template for people who haven't seen maybe the other videos of us talking about these things. And if you have already seen it, it's a good review. So the hero's journey is a universal story structure that has been present in various cultures for centuries. It was popularized by Joseph Campbell in his book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. The parable can be broken down into three stages, initiation, the journey, and the return. Okay, and we've covered a lot about the initiation. That's basically where the hero hears the invitation of the call to adventure. We are entering that middle phase now with this crossing the threshold. It's the middle section and the middle stage called the journey. And that's where the hero crosses the first threshold, making a conscious decision to embark on an adventure. And in this phase, it's important to review this phase the hero faces tests, meets allies and enemies, and undergoes trials and ordeals. The hero may receive magical tchotchkes or supernatural aid to aid in their journey. The hero approaches a deep cave or point of no return, marking a turning point in their journey. Very, very powerful, that middle stage. And then there's the return. And there's lots of aspects to that that I won't go into today. But those three core stages, the initiation, the journey, and the return, and we're kind of focusing in now on the journey. So with that said, let's look at the 12 stages of the hero's journey as outlined by Joseph Campbell. There's the ordinary world, the call to adventure, three, the refusal of the call, four, meeting the mentor, five, which is what we're focusing on today, crossing the threshold. This is where the hero commits to the journey, leaving the ordinary world behind and entering the special world of the adventure. It really is a significant turning point in the journey. It's a conscious commitment to the journey and to keep going and where there's no turning back. So let's review a little bit more about crossing the threshold, okay? And I just pulled up, this, this little post comes up when I did a Brave search and you see the entire screenshot. Um, so this is coming from a Brave search. According to Joseph Campbell, crossing the threshold is a pivotal stage in the hero's journey where the individual commits to leaving the comfort of their ordinary life and embarks on a transformative adventure. Here are some quotes that illustrate this concept. When you follow your bliss, doors open where you would not have thought there would be doors and where there wouldn't be a door for anyone else. Joseph Campbell, that's one of his quotes, right? Doors that weren't there open for you because you followed your bliss. You listened to the call of adventure. You committed to crossing the threshold. Doors open to you where they didn't exist before or they didn't exist for anybody else. They open for you because in my opinion, in a multidimensional sense, you reach a certain frequency or octave of energy 
where the door recognizes your soul signature and it opens. That is the magic of aligning with your authentic self and with your soul mastery. The next quote is to cross the threshold is to commit wholly to going beyond everyday leadership and an ordinary life. We reviewed that on a previous post that I shared today, but very powerful. You commit holistically to this decision that you are going to cross this threshold and you're not returning. You're not turning back. You're not going back to your old familiar life. You're not going to squeeze yourself back into the familiar ordinary world. You are going on an adventure and you're committing to a life of change. Whatever this adventure, wherever it's going to lead you, you're going. So this information from Braves, from the Brave search that I did, says these quotes emphasize the idea that crossing the threshold requires a willingness to take a leap of faith, leaving behind the familiar and embracing the unknown. It's a moment of commitment where the individual surrenders to the call of adventure and begins their journey towards growth and transformation. Campbell's work highlights the importance of this threshold moment, suggesting that it's a defining characteristic of the hero's journey. Once crossed, there's no turning back, and the individual must fully immerse themselves in the new reality, integrating the lessons and wisdom gained along the way. Key takeaways. Crossing the threshold is a critical stage in the hero's journey, marking the transition from the ordinary to the extraordinary. It requires a willingness to take a leap of faith, leaving behind the comfort of the familiar. Commitment to the journey is essential as there's no turning back once the threshold is crossed. The individual must integrate the lessons and wisdom gained during the journey into their daily life, sharing their newfound insights with others. So one example from my own life experience, I'll just share briefly, and then we've got more to share. There's songs I want to share with you and some questions I want to ask you as you face crossing the threshold in your ascension journey. In recent months, and I would really say in the last couple of years, I was receiving these nudges to not do soul readings anymore, to not engage in the channeling. In some way, shape, or form, I knew that my experience and my role as being a channel was changing, that I wasn't called to it anymore, that I was being called to something else. I know I'm still being called forward. So if I am an example of the hero's journey right now, I have accepted that call. I've been on many hero's journeys up to this point. But if I just back myself up 6, 12, 18, 24 months ago, I was definitely receiving little doses of insight that what I'm doing is changing. I didn't know. Does that mean I'm committing more to the musical? Does that mean that I'm going to be engaging more of the writing of what that story is going to be and bringing through the music? Does that mean I'm doing something with my family or something in my cha family's changing? Does that mean that something is completely different than any of those things? It's not related to any musical. Maybe it wasn't going to be related to my family. But I could feel the channeling and messages like that was falling away from me. It was, it was becoming something that was fading into the background of my life and my creative abilities. I can't really find the words to explain this, but anybody that's listening, if you know that there's you've, you've reached a threshold where you've you've maxed out what you were doing or it no longer is relevant in your life or it's not yours to do or maybe it wasn't even the best decision whatever it was that you were doing was not really in the big picture and the quantum picture of your multidimensional self isn't what you were meant to be doing at all somewhere in all those examples i just gave you channeling falls into that although i know it has inspired many people I am learning more about what channeling is and the potential for messages to get infiltrated and the potential for channelers to get infiltrated from more of the darker negative forces of the planet. And this is not a time to be messing around with those energies. I am just learning this now, but I, I was feeling the nudges, this call to go on another adventure, this call to change, this call to experience something new in the unknown, whatever was going to be unknown to me. I felt this call, but it was subtle a few years ago. It got a little bit louder and I, I stopped doing soul readings. And then it got a little bit louder and I was feeling the changes in my messages. And I changed the way the messages were coming through in, in this year, at least in 2024. And then about four to five months ago, I stopped channeling the messages and was just bringing through some inspired messages. And now I've changed the whole format of what those messages are. 
but I also feel the call to release without attachment all of those channeled messages. So you're going to see Frequency Writer has essentially gone defunct. I am still, it's still on the web, but all you're going to see there is if you go is you'll simply see um, my Shine Your Light children's books, that series there, and you'll also see my film trailer there. What I'm really doing is I'm going to be communicating with you from Substack. That was a major change. I had no plan for Substack. I had no plan to be making these songs that support the hero's journey, that support the quantum avatars ascension journey right now, the multidimensional journey of change that many of us are on. But it's emerging. It's unfolding. And crossing that threshold to commit to the journey to take down these things on my website i'm going to be going to other social media platforms and removing the channeled messages because something else wants to usher in i don't know what wants to come through yet i'm listening for what that is but i have to release the attachments to the old and i would invite you to do that with me to go on your own hero's journey parallel to my journey right you're on your own journey but I am in this process that just in the last week or two, there's this deeper commitment to cross the threshold, to release fixed ideas, if that's what Joseph Campbell said in a previous slide, right? Releasing those fixed ideas, those attachments to what I have spent a lifetime creating. It's almost time to release all of that because something more glorious, something new, something elevated, something better for myself and for humanity wants to come through and I'm making room for it. So I'm not identifying as a channel. I am committing to move forward that I am a soul on the journey of integration. I am a soul on the journey crossing that threshold and allowing myself to more holistically experience whatever this adventure and this journey wants to reveal to me. I'm making room for it and I'm letting go all the attachments. I'm doing that. Maybe I'm an example for you. Maybe what I'm doing makes you uncomfortable. Maybe you're celebrating what I'm doing, but you're definitely seeing the hero's journey in action in my own life experience. And I invite you to take a look at where's the hero's journey active and alive in your life. Where are you crossing thresholds? And that brings me to the next slide because I think I've got some questions for you. So the last slide for this conversation today related to crossing the threshold is where are you pivoting? Where are you sensing a turning point in your life? And on a bigger scale, where do you see the planet pivoting? Human consciousness pivoting, changing, right? Crossing thresholds. Or where do you see a turning point for humanity? Where is humanity crossing these thresholds? Are you just coming through a major pivot like this, like me? Are you at a point where you are turning to a new phase in the adventure where you are committing to cross that threshold and not look back? Or do you sense one coming, a major pivot? Do you sense a new pivot or turning point coming? Maybe you're not feeling either of those things that you've just come through a major pivot or change or that you sense a big one coming. Maybe you're simply open to saying, I wonder where my pivot and growth shift is, but that I know it's finding me. The 2020s, this whole decade, promises a great deal of ascension-related changes, pivots, and crossing thresholds, I think on a quantum scale, are part of them. We are assured massive changes in this decade. It's happening. It's all a matter of frequency as to what people can see and what they can't see. It's not a matter of one person being better than another person because they see one thing and another person sees something else. It's just a matter of frequency as to the scope of the bigger divine creation perspective, that bigger picture that we can see. And so I'm opening to that bigger picture inside myself. I have crossed a threshold. It was a big deal to understand that my channeling served a purpose for my own journey and for other people's journeys up to this point. I also know that channeling is not something that I want to participate, not in the way that it's been. And I think it also channelers can get infiltrated. I've also personally experienced a channel or two that was not of the utmost integrity. I won't mention them by name here, but they were dark beings. They were the exception, in my opinion, from, in, from my experience. I've been very blessed to meet a lot of gifted and amazing light warriors and light workers. But something is shifting where we're all moving into our, our mastery, our divine abilities and talents are inside us and they want to integrate inside us 
so they can come in for more authentic and expansive self-expression. That's as best as I can put into language what I'm still learning, but I have crossed the threshold and I'm not turning back. I'm letting those channeled messages go and I'm moving into allowing whatever the divine energies and frequencies in me want to express during these ascension times. There's something new and important and wonderful happening for me. And I believe that's true for you. We also have to make room for it. So when you go back to the slide where Joseph Campbell has that quote, where he's asking you, are you basically making time? where you're not looking at the news, where you're not answering to somebody else's expectations, when you're not figuring out what debt you owe to somebody else or they owe to you, when you're not caught up in those 3D details and you make room for stillness and that creative incubation, this is where crossing that threshold can come through, where you're more clear than ever that you're going forward and you're not looking back. Listen for where that's showing up in your life. Okay. And so for those of you who wanted to listen for the message part of this particular video, for the most part, I've, de I've delivered the messages for today. I've got a little bit of summation at the end, but now I have some short new soul songs for those that can stay with me to the end. And if you need to depart, just know that I will also put that new playlist of these soul songs on Color the Magic on YouTube. And I will also put them on my Substack and any other social media platform that I participate in um, if they'll allow me to post those songs. So the first song is called A New Quest, fitting for this crossing the threshold conversation that we're having. So let's have a listen to A New Quest. was a great starter for the song session together. A New Quest is the name of that song. And these are just a few lyrics that I wanted to spotlight. Empower your spirit, take a stand. Change is calling, take my hand. Transform the old, let dreams soar high. Pivot now beneath open sky. Walk a path you've never known. Leave the old roads, let them go. Embrace the breeze, the freedom calls. New skies await where light falls. And then there's just that one line, souls on a quest to be free. 
so powerful. We are on a quest. We are souls on a quest of epic proportions. The entire cosmos is awaiting for Earth's awakening and activation and ascension process. So I love that, a new quest. We are empowering our spirits and we are called to leave the old roads, let them go, leave the ordinary world, leave the land of what's familiar and known and step into this broader expanse of your divine consciousness that desires to lead you forward into creating a life of your dreams beyond the incarcerations that we've experienced here for lifetimes. So powerful. Okay, the next song is called Crossing the Threshold. Leaving home behind, facing the unknown. Hero stands alone, courage starts to grow. Ordinary face, special world away. Heart begins to race, stepping through the gate, crossing the threshold into the night. Faith will be our life, for it to take flight. Climbing every wall, never to retreat. Rising when we fall, moving on our feet. The threshold into the night. Faith will be our light. For it to takes flight. Coming every wall, never to retreat. Rising when we fall, moving on our feet. the threshold beyond the fear we stride to where our dreams reside with each step we confide in the strength inside Begins to race, stepping through the gate, crossing the threshold. It's a great song, isn't it? It's one to listen to if you are in the experience of this turning point, this pivot in your life, or come back to it, find it again. If you aren't experiencing it now, but it's more relevant to you at some other time, we're all going to be going through this process of crossing some thresholds and pivoting and not looking back to what we once were in some aspect of our life, in some form of behavior and some attachment that we once had. So I love these lyrics, leaving home behind, facing the unknown, hero stands alone, courage starts to grow. Ordinary fades, special world awaits, heart begins to race, stepping through the gate. And then the chorus is crossing the threshold into the night, faith will be our light, fortitude takes flight. It, faith is the fuel for this journey. It's not for the faint of heart, but it's for the faith-filled heart. Very, very powerful. I love that song, Crossing the Threshold. Okay, the third song is called Rise and Soar. Let's have a listen. Feed on 
solid ground Heart is racing now Crossing lines anew Journey starts somehow Steps into the night Stars are shining bright Pathway calls to me Adventure in my sight Rise and soar, here we go Lights above will lead the show New triumphs on the way Hero's heart will never sway Deeper in the tale Every moment gale Sweeping me ahead No way I will fail Momentum pulls me fast Future free at last Glory in the skies Victory is lost Trials turn to gold Bravery unfolds Heroes stand so tall Story to be told Steps into the night Stars are shining bright Pathway calls to me Adventure in my sight Rise and soar, here we go Light above will lead the show New triumphs on the way Hero's heart will never sway Deeper in the tale Every moment gale Sweeping me ahead No way I will fail Momentum pulls me fast Future free at last Glory in the skies Victory is lost Above will lead the show. The trials are the way. Hero's heart will never sway. Deeper in the tale, every moment gale sweeping me ahead. No way I will fail. Momentum pulls me fast. Future free at last. Glory in the skies. Victory is vast. Glory in the skies. Victory is vast. Trials turn to gold, bravery unfolds, heroes stand so tall, story to be told. Wow, I just, I love each of these. Of course, they were seeded with my frequency in the words and language and the insights about this particular message today for you. But Rise and Soar is such a message that each one of these is a song frequency for different aspects of our journeys right now. And I just love that. So rise and soar, I wanna spotlight these lyrics. Feet on solid ground, heart is racing now. Crossing lines anew, journey starts somehow. To me, that speaks to the ordinary world. When your feet, you think they're on solid ground. People who are oriented to the 3D matrix, that that's all that there is, right? That there is nothing more. They think their feet is on solid ground. Why would they leave that? The earth we've been stepping on. I mean, it's been in so many movies. I definitely remember some a Star Wars scene where he flies into this, you know, cave or something, and he thinks that he's finally safe from the you know, pursuers trying to shoot down his ship. And then they fly into the mouth of some massive creature, and then he has to fly back out. So, you know, just because they thought that they had safety momentarily, they went from kind of the frying pan into the fire. So thinking that our feet are on solid ground, we have to be oriented with multidimensional vision almost to see more of the truth that's going on. So the next group of lyrics there is steps into the night, stars are shining bright, pathway calls to me, adventure in my sight. So from that ordinary world, this journey is starting, the invitation is there and adventure is calling your vision, adventure is calling your attention, adventure and ascension are calling your participation. And then the chorus is rise and soar, here we go. Light above will lead the show. I'd say light within will lead the show, right? New triumphs on the way, hero's heart will never sway. That's crossing the threshold. That's a commitment to taking the turn and going forward and not looking back. So powerful. Okay, that was rise and soar. The next song is called Faith's Frequency. Let's have a listen. 
Faith as fortitude, higher frequency, warriors on a mission, souls longing to break free, seeking and remembering, truth we all once knew, connecting with our source, resurrecting old and true. We are remembering who we are, uplifting, reaching far. Walking through the shadow's door We are finding so much more Quest for ancient secrets Unseen paths we trod Heart shining in the cosmos Following the calling of God One step at a time We're marching with the light Resilient and bold We reclaim our sight Secrets, unseen paths we trod, heart shining in the cosmos, following the calling of God. One step at a time, we're marching with the light, resilient and bold, we reclaim our sight. We are remembering who we are, uplifting, reaching far, walking through. That is such a powerful song. I actually was in conversation with somebody and that came through me one day where I was talking about faith as fortitude, living faith as fortitude. Fortitude is our faith. And when we live faith as fortitude in our lives, that's a frequency. And that's how you got this song, Faith's Frequency, because faith's frequency is spiritual fortitude that is fueled by faith. So that song has that those opening four lines, faith as fortitude, higher frequency, warriors on a mission, souls longing to break free. That whole song, I'm not going to read the whole song's lyrics, but that is one to listen to again and again in your journey. Very, very beautiful. We are seeking and remembering truth that we all once knew, connecting with our source, resurrecting old and true. That doesn't mean resurrecting old timelines we're letting go. That means resurrecting the original truth, right? Of God, of source, of creation. So powerful. Okay, the next song is Rise and Release. Let's have a listen. For the stars We are rising 
a good one, huh? Rise and release. There are themes here. I think you're seeing the pattern, a good pattern, I hope, for the hero's journey, the avatar awakening inside you. Lyrics I wanted to spotlight were shedding old patterns, releasing all beliefs, making room for truth, the capital T, and cutting through the grief. Rediscovering self, finding who we are, letting go of lies, reaching for the stars. And then the chorus is, we are rising, setting ourselves free, uplifting hearts, empowering to be. Feel the light within, hear the inner call, no more holding back, we stand up tall. We are the ones that are setting ourselves free. We are the ones that are choosing what we're listening to, what we're reading, who we're spending time with, what our attachments are, what attachments can we release? How can we move into this more quantum, expansive, soul source connected space, union with source, right? It's us. We make the choices. We are the bridges into new experiences, or we are the ones tethering ourselves to the old ones, right? So powerful. Okay, the next song is Quantum Change. Let's have a listen. Quantum change in the air. We live in new opportunities. Grow and thrive through each moment. Experience freedom so true. True self expression here. Humanity is standing high. Who are you emerging to be from the future in the now? Quantum change come alive, new paths open inside. See the spark in your eyes, freedom, let's arise. Won't shift like the breeze, new horizons we see, a future bright, clear, become who you want to be. Step by step we transform Hearts and minds are formed Living each day like it's brand new Finding the freedom to choose Quantum change, come alive New paths open inside See the spark in your eyes Freedom, that's alright This ascension journey is invited to the grandest call of adventure to quantum change and to reunite reunify with source the source within right the our whole soul mastery our divine spark that quantum change that is summoning us listen to these lyrics quantum change in the air living new opportunities grow and thrive in each moment experience freedom so true True self-expression is here, humanity ascending high. Who are you emerging to be? Feel the future in the now. Feel the future you in your now. You are calling your higher dimensional consciousness inside you now, here, now. Quantum change come alive, new paths open inside. See the spark in your eyes. Freedom, let's arise. There, of course, are more lyrics in that song, but so beautiful, so powerful, affirming these shifts so we can be the bridge of our own ascension experience. For a long time, in those in-between times, I talked about the in-between times many times, and we didn't always know what the bridge was, but now I'm much more confident in saying we are the bridge. We are the bridges of this quantum change in our lives. We are it. It's in our choices for how we go through the changes. Very, very powerful. Okay, this next song is called Quantum Living. Let's have a listen.
that song quantum living goes hand in hand with quantum change there are a couple little lyrics glitches in the song that i just heard when i re-listen now with you but let's just review those core lyrics true self emerging free quantum waves of destiny pathways now align infinite realms to see who are you becoming live that future now humanity ascending in the here and now new opportunities to grow to thrive to be freedom pushing boundaries unlock the mystery when freedom is pushing those boundaries inside you it's like that call to adventure it's that impulse to change there's something happening inside us and that song quantum living the energy in the creation of it was the embodiment of these higher frequencies there's the quantum changes taking place inviting us to be the future version of ourselves now and then there's this essence of living it emerging it to be you in the here and now very very powerful okay four more songs the next one is called rise and thrive let's have a listen rise and thrive it's time to go leave the old world in the past a better day is shining bright, calling us to join at last. To find creation, here we come. Time to spread our wings and fly. New adventures in our hearts, dreaming big, reaching high. Cross the threshold of the light, our quest to win every breath. Feel the magic deep inside. Nothing left but loses. Oh, we rise, we thrive, we soar. Break the chains of what's before. World of wonder at our feet. Every moment, life's a treat. Feel the rhythm in your soul Catch the wind and let it flow Moving forward, bold and free This is where we're meant to be Cross the threshold of the light Our life to in every breath Feel the magic deep inside Nothing left but loses and thrive such a beautiful song the lyrics i want to focus on them, rise and thrive it's time to go leave the old world in the past a better day is shining bright calling us to join at last divine creation here we come time to spread our wings and fly new adventures in our hearts dreaming big reaching high and then the chorus is cross the threshold of the light uplift joy in every breath feel the magic deep inside nothing left but new zest i think that and that that image of that bird on the screen with wings outstretched we're here to color the magic in our lives we're here to rise to thrive right divine creation here we come it is a conscious decision to to turn to engage that pivot that turning point in our life and cross the threshold whatever that threshold may be to go the distance to take the bigger step to commit to the journey and not look back so powerful okay the next one is walk the new path let's have a listen walk a new path here we go 
the old growth, time to grow Feel the freedom, sky so wide Embrace the light, no need to hide Change is coming, can't you see? Transformation, let it be A new quest for us to start With open mind and open heart you free souls on a quest be what you see new hearts call us rise up tall find your way break down the wall pivot now change your way face the future day by day all familiar roads goodbye Power uplift, don't look back Strength is found in what we like Journey forward, hand in hand Together we will take a stand Let the light lead, set you free Souls on a quest, be what you see New hearts call us, rise up tall Find your way the threshold we are called to walk the new path the new adventure the step into the unknown where we don't fully know where we're going yet but we're trusting with inner eyes faith-filled eyes inner vision soul vision so a couple of those lyrics i just want to reiterate walk a new path here we go leave the old roads time to grow feel the freedom skies so wide embrace the light no need to hide Change is coming, can't you see? Transformation, let it be. A new quest for us to start with open mind and open heart. Let the light lead, set you free. Souls on a quest, be what you see. New highs call us to rise up tall. Find your way, break down the wall. Pivot now and change your way. Face the future day by day. Old familiar roads, goodbye. Time to soar up to the sky. That's us. That's us. We are here to walk a new path. We are here to walk the ascension path. And we are the bridges into that new path that first must cross the threshold by committing to that new journey. So powerful. Okay, the last two songs are two Color the Magic songs. I've been putting a Color the Magic song for my musical into these song playlists each video that i'm making now and here's the first of two and then we're going to round out these messages today so and remember color the magic is an essence of energy right to color the magic back into our lives and to ascend into higher consciousness right but it's also a story taken from my 
series of stories that's all about a star seed who was a bright light on the planet and then she lost her happy thoughts by and entered a dark forest think this cycle of separation and then as she bounced around that journey of darkness and separation and confusion and all of the things the cognitive dissonance that goes along with the separation cycles journey she has to remember her source connection she has to rem remember her connection with her happy thoughts so this these songs color the magic today i believe speak to that character in the stories who's lost her way and has to cross the threshold and find her way back to who she really is let's listen to this first color the magic song away in the forest dark where shadows play she forgot her light in the night searching for what's true what's right wandered along with heavy heart felt like everything's falling apart but in the gloom friends appeared whispered words to calm her fears call of the magic find your light again with friends and mentors feel the power To clear her mind In their eyes she saw the way To her true self where dreams stay Empowered heart regains its glow In the darkest times you can grow Whisper hope and gentle night Until you find you're in the light Call of the magic Find your light again With friends and mentors Feel the power within Call of the magic Shine your light again Find your light again With friends and mentors Feel the power within Color the magic Shine your light again With friends and mentors See the truth begin Color the magic Find your light again With friends and mentors Feel the power within Color the magic Shine your light again With friends and mentors It's always so good to hear that, you know, I know many of you might have been in a dark forest in your life, in your separation cycle experiences in this lifetime or others. We all have traces of memories because the 3D matrix has not been kind. It's been filled with opportunities to learn and grow and, and evolve and expand, but it hasn't always been easy. I think I can say that, and I think many of you can relate. So let's listen to a couple of those lyrics and then we'll listen to the last Color the Magic song and we'll review the iceberg. Okay, a powerful soul lost her way in a forest dark where shadows play. She forgot her light in the night, searching for what's true, what's right. Wandered long with heavy heart, felt like everything was falling apart. But in the gloom, friends appeared, whispered words to calm her fears and then the chorus is color the magic find your light again with friends and mentors feel the power within color the magic shine your light again with friends and mentors see the truth begin and then there's this other few sentences here empowered heart regains its glow in the darkest times you can grow often the growth the quantum leaps that we make when we cross thresholds inside ourselves it's in the depth of darkness that sometimes we have our greatest leaps of faith and our greatest growth spurts so that is very true in my case and i wonder if it's true in your case so here let's have a listen to the second color the magic song Deep 
listening can relate to a dark time in a dark forest, dark night of the soul, sometime when we're challenged and sometimes some of those challenges expand us exponentially because of the depth and scope of them. Wherever anyone is in their journey listening to this, the lyrics I wanted to spotlight is she wanders in the night lost alone, her light hidden deep unknown in the forest dark she roams searching for her way back home. That's us seeking source through lifetimes, right? Shadows whisper fears she hears, but she holds back all of her tears. A glimmer starts to show, guiding her where she needs to go. When we look within for the answers, the light is always leading us, right? And then the chorus, color the magic in the air, feel the love everywhere. Lift your spirit high and free. Remember who you're meant to be. That's what this is all about. It's this reunion with source. It's this reunion with the celestial energies of creation. It's this reunion with our God spark that has this infinite intelligence of all you are and all you've ever been. Remember who you're meant to be. And we are searching for a way back home. I truly believe we are on that pathway. Now this decade is a return home to source and to a much higher dimensional timeline and realm than we can presently imagine right now. But in this awakening process, there's so much support for us, just like there's support for my character in the Color the Magic series and the musical that will be created and performed someday in a glorious way. So I thank you for listening to these soul songs and these messages with me today. I want to review a few last thoughts about whole iceberg living because it is the call for all of us, in my opinion right now. It's a, it's a return to wholeness. So how are the changes, the thresholds, and the pivots impacting you? 
Are some of the unknowns in the deeper waters becoming more known to you? As you step deeper into your ascension journey, are more of your exceptional divine gifts and talents becoming more known to you as well? How are you stepping into integrating more of the you-ness that you truly are? Whole iceberg living is a time of courage, fortitude, faith, and self-expression. We are the bridges into the wholeness. It's us. It's us embracing the changes. It's us crossing the thresholds. It's us making the pivots. It's us. It's us. We're all of it. So we're going to venture into the deep and experience some things that are unknown to us, but they've been creating our patterns. They've been creating some of our challenges. They hold some of our deepest wounds. When we see those get exposed, also inside the depth of that iceberg under the water are also a lot of your exceptional gifts and talents and abilities and knowledge from all of your lifetimes, from all the realms you've ever lived in. It's a powerful time. It's a powerful integration into the Eunice that you truly are, into who we really are. And while the whole iceberg living can be challenging and wearying at times, I understand we're all human as well as spiritual beings, right? At the same time, inside this call to whole iceberg living, I think it's the ascension journey of a lifetime. But in that journey is the exceptional you, is the glory, is the glorious creationary timeline that we're all awakening to. So we need to move past the discomforts. We need to witness them. And then we need to empower the light aspects inside us. We're going home. This decade is about returning home inside ourselves. It's a consciousness shift. And with the consciousness shifts, we'll bring the physical reality of whether we call it the new earth, whether we just call it the ascended earth, or we call it the original garden of Eden, whatever language you put to it, it's requiring us to know the whole iceberg inside us and the whole iceberg of the collective and all that was created in this time of separation so we can rise higher into this time of integration and ascended living. Okay, and with that said, I want to invite you to join me on my Substack page. It's frequencywriter.substack.com. This is currently now my sole platform to communicate with you going forward. I share my videos, songs, and miscellaneous inspirations there. I may eventually have time to put more posts in there, but if you're looking to connect with me, things that may or may not be on other social media platforms, you will find there. I'm using it as my blog going forward and my way of communicating with you beyond YouTube and the social media platforms that play my videos. So you can also leave comments for me there and we can engage uh, together there. So my frequencywriter.com website now only contains my Shine Your Light book series and the Freeing and Incarcerated World film trailer and information about the film. I already spoke about that today as one of my crossing the thresholds that has been coming for some time. But uh, a lot of the information that you used to be able to see on FrequencyWriter.com is no longer. And if you find me on other social media platforms, you'll start to see some of those changes reflected as well, because a lot of those old messages are, are coming down. And the new messages that I'm bringing forth right now as I cross this threshold and move into whatever my higher self is leading me to create will be found largely on frequencywriter.substack.com and some of these other social media platforms going forward. So you can find me at Color the Magic on YouTube. You can also find me at Marie Moeller, Frequency Writer and Whole Soul Mastery on other social media platforms. You can find me at wholesoulschoolandfoundation.org. There's a lot of great videos about the hero's journey there from way back in the archives. You can find it in the Fireside Chats podcast series is where you'll find conversations about the hero's journey where we delved deeper and gave more examples and also reviewed films that reflected the hero's journey. You can find me on platforms like Rumble, Twitter, Facebook, True Social, and Telegram. You can also find me on Spotify, iTunes, and other uh, audio streaming platforms. So I want to thank you for joining me. I invite you to please subscribe, like, and share this video. And I thank you for visiting with me today until the end. And I will see you again soon for more inspirational podcasts, messages, and musings. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.